So I needed a way to be able to make repetitive cuts on my DeWalt DWS 780 uh, miter saw. <clears throat> so I saw a um, YouTube video where someone made a, a jig and I went ahead and made one and uh, it's just a simple design. Uh, it's uh, cut out to fit uh, the side of um, my table saw, uh, which is mounted on a Workmate 400. <clears throat> and on the bottom I have a piece of wood that will um, fit right in here and I can just lock it down and it'll stay in place so just like this it's in nice and smooth it's locked and uh, I make beehive boxes uh, and the way I have it set up right now uh, this cut, this is uh, exactly 19 and 7, 7 eighths cut, and uh, I think I made the cuts earlier today, and this is uh, an exact cut, so this would be one side of a beehive box, and then I have other little um, spacers, and then the, the short side of the beehive box would be 12 and a quarter inches. So this baby fits right in there, and uh, and what I do is I I put uh, I just clamp it and I jab clamp it in in place just so it doesn't move and uh, put a piece of wood in there and then I'll come up with uh, a 12 and a half inch cut perfect every time. And, uh, and then for the nuke boxes, same long dimensions, 19 and 7 eighths, but uh, the short side is 8 inches, an 8 inch cut uh, for nukes. And that goes there, Jed clamp it, and uh, I come up with the 8 inch cut every time. So. Uh, that's my, that's my project for, for, uh, this winter to be able to get busy cutting some and making some hive boxes. Let me see if I can find a hive box here. <clears throat> so the finished product will be, will be these guys. I'll make a bunch, um, except, uh, I don't do finger joints anymore. I use uh, the Craig pocket hole jig, and it makes um, it makes uh, really strong hive boxes. And I've never had one come apart. But this used to be very labor intensive, cutting out pocket holes, and uh, and I still make uh, you know I still cut the, uh, the hand holes out there. Anyway, uh, that's all I have right now. Uh, Thanks everybody for uh, giving me the idea on uh, on how to make this thing because it it's it's going to be a really big time saver. GoPro, turn off. GoPro, stop recording. Ooh.